Here is a 2023 Cadillac CT4 Sport in the new radiant red over jet black leather interior. I'm Anthony from Hawkeye Rides and I'm gonna to explain to you what the difference from 22 to 23, a little bit of comparison between the German rivals and what the CT4 brings as a value for luxury and sport with this turbo engine. Signature LED headlamps and daytime runnings with the vertical bar that goes into the side curtain with the gloss black. Everything gets blacked out for the grill. The housing of the grill gets the gloss black in the interior. The lower will keep the signature chrome touch because this is the sport trim. Near 50-50 weight distribution, 54-46, which is going to be for the BMW the best in the dynamics. Then it will go to Mercedes and Audi. 18 inch will be a standard wheel. This is upgraded 19 inch polished Android multi-spoke wheels. Behind those wheels, 11.8 inch disc reading, the rear 11.6 inches. You need more performance. They do option a Brembo four piston front when you go into the V series, which will give you a little bit more of the dynamics. The sport trim will add the gloss black on the side skirts. So it keeps more of a sporty dynamic twist to the vehicle instead of just luxury, which is more traditional for Cadillac. Gloss black around all the window treatment, 187.4 inches long, 2.0, turbocharged inline four cylinder. We're getting 237 horsepower with 258 pound-feet of torque that's paired to an eight-speed automatic transmission, achieving 23 MPGs for the city and 34 MPGs for the highway. So when you're thinking about, I want a luxury car, but I want some performance, but I also want to keep gas in mind. It's not a hybrid, but you're getting optimal fuel consumption with zero to 60s around six seconds. You need more horsepower, you can option the V for 380 horsepower or the V Blackwing for 472 horsepower. So they have a lot of different options here in which if you wanted to go up to an M car or an AMG, similar performance in the Cadillac line. For the rear, you're getting the iconic LED vertical tail lamps that goes into the gloss black surrounding these dual exhaust outlets. The sport trim deletes most of the chrome for the Cadillac line. Trunk lid spoiler, quick release to go into 10.7 cubic feet of storage underneath the floor. Some storage compartments, split fold the rear bench at a 40-60 split. That will increase the cargo to the CT4 Sport. Let's go inside, start up this turbo charge so you can hear that exhaust though. going inside the CT4 Sport. Now it is a sporty car, so you're gonna have to remember the interior space is going to be the same way that the numbers should project on the exterior because it's not that long of a vehicle. Headroom at 38.3 inches, legroom 42.4 inches, power seat adjustment, leather front seats, heated, ventilated, contrast stitching and piping, Memory for the driver, manual cushion extensions for both the front occupants. The dash starts off with the sporty contrast stitching and it rolls down into the passenger side. Eight inch touchscreen infotainment in the center with wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Sirius XM, AM, FM, streaming Bluetooth audio, Wi-Fi hotspot, My Cadillac, and OnStar services. A backup camera with trajectory. Dual climate control settings work underneath it with a wireless charging pad. Contrast stitching is going to stay around the gear lever area with the leather wrap. And you have your driver mode select My Modes, Touring, Sport, and Snow. Leather wrap steering wheel, multi-function, adaptive cruise control, heated steering wheel with the paddle shifters. The gauge cluster has a TFT display that can go through an array of information for the driver, including the turn-by-turn -turn navigation, Bluetooth connectivity, and any settings for the vehicle. Area that you can put your smartphone, it's gonna be more sporty, open up inside, USB ports, 12 volt, and I like how this goes this way so your wires aren't dangling everywhere. It's a long box, 
door panels, configure into the dash with the upgraded Bose sound system, 14 speakers throughout. It's gonna be everyday materials. It gets soft right in here. It's gonna be sporty, one touch up and down for the front windows and a storage pocket with the beverage holder carved out in the front. For the back seat, headroom's gonna be a little tight, 36.5 inches and it's kind of carved out because if you go to the sides, whether behind the driver or passenger, you're gonna hit the headliner. Leg space at 33.4, it's a sports car, expected to be tight. 12 volt charger starts for the back occupants with two air vents and storage behind both of the front seats. The door panel will get the same materials as the front, but you get no storage. Sitting into the center headroom is actually gonna be a little bit more optimal. Leg room, but feet space will not be because the tracks are a little bit further back for the front occupants. Sharing butt and shoulder space because of that, even though the bench is pretty wide for the size of the interior. The CT4 Sport, what does that entail? Well, it's going to have less performance than any of the rivals, more or less, when you start going up the tier, which the price point will escalate a little bit more than this. So it's kind of in the happy medium in the sense of an Audi A3 or an S3. The difference though would be night and day because the S3 is over 300 horsepower, zero to 60 around 4.5 seconds. But then you're spending right at nearly 50 grand where this is decked out at 50 grand. When you get into the A3, the zero to 60 numbers are about the same. The horsepower of this is going to be more. When you go into BMW, it's gonna be the same thing. If you go into the 228i Grand Coupe, it's about the same price as this, nearly featured up. When you go into the M235i, it's gonna be a little bit more money, a lot more performance, zero to 60 as low as 4.1 seconds. This is gonna be around six seconds, give or take, a few tenths here and there. But the price point is basically the example that I'm trying to give you, that it is kind of a sweet spot in the sense of luxury and sports amenities. You sit low to the ground. You will feel a little bit of the imperfections in the road. The setup for the suspension, McPherson strut, multi-link rear, it's good. This is for your everyday balance. 54, 46 weight distribution, so you have a little bit of maneuverability. We don't have any sticky tires. Really, if you wanna start optioning to this, you start going into the V. Now that's gonna take me to some things I like and dislike, and starting off with is what I like. We have massage seats, power seat adjustment. Nobody in its class packs that much luxury with the performance behind it. The next thing that I like is the sport trim does make it more sporty and athletic. If you do not wanna go into the V, you can do the sport and you have all the essence of it with this turbocharged engine that is pretty quick for the size of the vehicle. When you're low to the ground like this, you have great maneuverability. And unfortunately, there's a lot of traffic. So I'm not gonna show you right now, but here in a second, I will show you a little bit of that maneuverability in which you can get in and out of things because this is under 190 inches long. You have room for the occupants and cargo capacity. Now, when you get into the Grand Coupe for the Beamer, you will have a little bit more cargo capacity. But when you go into Audi, it's gonna be smaller. Even in the interior dimensions, this is going to have more head and leg room. And the last thing that I like is how they clean up the surfaces for the front. So if you have to use the USB or 12 volt, you have a little storage cubby to put your phone there and you're not having wires ran everywhere. And it's just more user friendly the way they have it. Some things that I dislike about it, we are in more of a premium trim in the sense of this is the top tier until you go into the V. You have a little bit more harder surfaces. When you're comparing it to the competition, it's gonna have a little bit less in the performance numbers, and this is hovering at the same price point, but this is also featured up. The next thing is in the back seat, you have absolutely no storage in the door panel. I'll show you some of the maneuverability. Like I said, getting in and out is not gonna be a problem. The exhaust filters in, so it gives a pleasant ride. Even though you're low to the ground, you don't really hear too much of the road noise with upgraded wheels. So the sound deadening is on point for the price that you're at. And the suspension holds itself, whether you're at a slower or faster speed, it's going to feel comfortable. 
which when you get into BMW, that will be one of the most sporty for suspension. You'll feel pretty much every imperfection. Turn radius is going to be two lanes. Let's rock and roll. It can put a smile on your face. The last thing that I dislike is when you are driving a little bit more aggressive. This is for pretty much all the Cadillacs, so it doesn't just pertain to this and also the GMC line. They have the LED lights that will beep and illuminate in front of you for the frontal collision assistant or alert. I don't mind the feature, it's just the way they do it feels kind of like a taxi cab or almost like you're a police and Ford does the same thing which when you start getting into luxury vehicles usually what they do is on the heads up display they will indicate a vehicle with like an X on it or they'll have it in the gauge cluster so it looks a little bit more luxury instead of regular everyday vehicle and when you're considering 50 grand to spend it's hard to capture everything that you get with the Cadillac line especially if you do go to the rivals because it will start escalating to a higher price point I'd like to thank Cadillac Lakeland for giving us this 2023 Cadillac CT4 Sport for our car review if you're already a subscriber thank you for being part of the Hawkeye community if not I don't know what you're waiting for click the next video and the subscribe button check out the merchandise website Instagram leave a comment and a like